Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steers, and today, chums, I've got a little bit of No Man's Sky news. I say news rather loosely because it's more to do with the Quicksilver Agents. Quicksilver Agent Watch. Let's jump on over into game and let's go see the Quicksilver Merchant. So here I am inside a game, and if I just go into camera mode quickly, boom. And we have a look at this bar at the top of here. You can see that it's broken into four sections. Four sections, and we've started progress into this new tier. So what is there, people? Okay, well, let's head on over and let's go and speak to good old Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. There's a mouthful. I call him Johnny Five. We go to create Quicksilver items. And we've got, count these, one, two, and three. But we've clearly got four tiers on this bar above my head. Yeah. How weird's that? So I think that's a bit broken. But anyway, what we've got is we've got this ice statue here. Now, it's going to cost you 500 Quicksilver. They're all going to cost 500 Quicksilver. And we've got the ice atlas statue, the ice diplo statue, and also the ice fighter statue, all at 500 Quicksilver per throw. It's just weird, though, this bar. I kind of... I'm wondering what's going to happen when we get to the end of Tier 3. What's going to happen with Tier 4? Because obviously there isn't one. Okay, anyway, so anyhow, let's, uh, let's exit out of there. So if you do need Quicksilver, you'll be running Quicksilver missions from this cube over here, the Nexus cube, inside of the Spatial Anomaly, and you're hitting up the one that's got the Quicksilver marker on. You can see here you're going to get 400 Quicksilver a throw, so it's not going to take you too long to earn enough Quicksilver to get all of those eye statues should you want them. If you run at weekends, you can get more Quicksilver, so hold out to the weekend if you really want to there, people. I guess. Now... Let me just jump on over into my bigger view. And we're going to open up the No Man's Sky Assistant app. Oh, check out my new background on my phone first. Oh, look at that. It's like a little koi pond. You can actually feed the fishes and all sorts of stuff. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, let's go into the old No Man's Sky Assistant app. The No Man's Sky Assistant app is free. I'll put like a graphic over here of where you can find it and stuff. It's in all the stores for your mobile devices. Now I'm just going to hit this bottom tab over here. Community Missions. This one here. Pow. And it's going to show me exactly what's coming up next. So there's all the decals that we unlocked a little while ago. Lovely. And here's all the eye statues right there. And then here we go. Here's the decals that come after that. There's two of the stars, the Awakenings decal, and also Paw Prints. So after the ice statues, we're going to be unlocking these. So there's this one here, a nice little hexagon type looking thing with ships on. Very nice. And then after that, we've got this one's the Awakenings decal, which is probably my favourite amongst them. It looks a little bit like the background that I've got on here at the moment. Very nice. And then the final one is Paw Prints. Now, I suppose you could put this somewhere in a base near to, I don't know, whatever, for pets and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty nice if I'm ever doing the egg giveaways again. We were going to do them around Easter time, but we didn't get around to it. But anyway, people, that's, that's pretty much everything inside the Quicksilver store that is due to come. Now, what I'm thinking, though, people, is we haven't quite had seasonal expeditions happening. I mean, I know they've added in this whole new freaking console for hitting up expeditions. and We've had one expedition this year so far. And I'm just wondering whether we're going to get a given another one in the next couple of weeks or so. I did think we'd be getting one just after Orbital dropped, but that didn't actually come to fruition. Now, Hello Games have said themselves in their own words that... Expeditions are seasonal. And we all know that we had the ARG running at the moment that Sean Murray put out there. We've had parts one, two, and three. We still haven't had the, the conclusion, the end part. Or if we have, it hasn't been confirmed by Sean of the Murrays to say that it was the part four of the arc. So I'm wondering whether there's something bigger on the cards, something due to drop people inside the viewerverse. That's my thoughts and feelings on that. And I kind of think that Hello Games might be holding out for either the Game Awards or Summerfest of this year. Now, in the Game Awards of last year, that's when they announced Light No Fire and also said that this year would be a big year for No Man's Sky. I kind of think that they're either going to deliver the update just before Game Awards of this year, or they're going to hold out until just after the Game Awards of this year and they're going to announce something, get the Game Awards about Light No Fire, maybe a follow-up trailer a year to date of when they announced Light No Fire, and then also say what their plans are for No Man's Sky, similar to like they did last year. I mean, I, I'm trying to go by patterns, but can we go by patterns anymore, people inside the view of us? Sound up in the comments. Let us know how you feel about Hello Games and trying to predict them just as of late. The reason I say that 
is back to the expeditions of them being seasonal and stuff like that. You can't really count on that anymore. We used to get them every season, like spring, summer, autumn, winter, four seasons, four expeditions. That doesn't really happen now. Um, as of last year, that was. It sort of teetered over to January, didn't it, or whatever. But anyway, people, I I'm wondering whether this year's reduxes are going to be a little bit different as well, using this new machine and, and choosing them in whatever order we want to use them. You know, it, it does make me feel that this machine is going to have a lot more use when it comes to the reduxes. At least I hope it does. I'm hoping that we can choose what order we run them in and get collaborative sort of results after the reduxes, that sort of stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how it's implemented. But then it's not like they've given us a lot of content, really, when it comes to expeditions for this year so far. Normally, this far into the year, we'll probably have maybe one, maybe two expeditions by this point in time. We've had one, and I would say that that, that was kind of a little bit ruined by the whole fact that it went to Steam users first and the whole community sort of stuffage. If that does happen again, if they put another expedition out into the experimental branch, I will be delivering it in a different way this time, peeps. I'll probably put it live to my backers and members and leave it there for them. And then as soon as it's out for everybody, then put it live for everybody to see. Yeah. Anyways, I hope this has been news to you. I mean... Yes, it's given us a bit of insight into the Quicksilver items. So I kind of think that we're going to unlock these three ice statues and there is a chance, a chance another expedition or a small update might drop at the end of the ice statues. If it doesn't, I think we're going to see the three decals and then something has to come in by the end of those three decals because there's nothing left in the Quicksilver store for us to run for. It could just be a quality of life patch. It could be another expedition, but I'm hoping it brings in a little bit of content, a little bit of something, a little bit of substance, maybe brings in a couple more ships that we can now modify. Maybe the solar wing ships, maybe they add, add some sort of ship builder inside of outlaw stations for the solar ship is what I'd think and maybe they add in the shuttles that's what I think might happen in the next couple of months um, as we unlock these Quicksilver items I think these ice statues with the speed that they're going at right now which is slow I think we're probably going to unlock the ice statues by perhaps end of May or May um, what, what month are we in we're in April by the end of April I think we're going to hopefully unlock them by the end of April because we're on the 11th of April now and then hopefully we're going to see the decals start to unlock so April May time I think mid May time we might see something in way of update is where I'm thinking people and let us know what do you think inside the comments sound off I haven't gone and done any research I haven't looked at previous patterns to see if um, may might be on the tables or something or or speculated how big it's going to be i'll do a separate video on all of that closer to may but i think we've got the whole of april right now just to sit and sort of um, reminisce on what we've been given with the ship customization and the orbital update i think that's it for april i don't think we're going to see anything happening until may that's my thoughts and feelings what's yours sound up in the comments till next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again